Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm teaching you how to download and install mods in Minecraft 1.16.4. Now, we are assuming that you've already got Forge installed. You can find our in-depth Forge tutorial linked in the description down below. It's the second link down below. That will take you here and this is our in-depth Forge tutorial. This is, says 1.16.3 right now, but I just recorded the 1.16.4 one and as soon as it's out, it will replace that and it will be out before this video comes out. So just imagine this is the 1.16.4 tutorial. However, we also have this text tutorial that does walk you through everything and it is updated to 1.16.4 already. That's important though because you need Forge in order to install most, 99% of Minecraft mods in 1.16.4. So today we're going to be installing a few different mods. We're going to be installing Xero's Minimap, Industrial Foregoing, Titanium, which is a you know requirement mod for Industrial Foregoing, Botanium, and then its two dependency mods, which is Patchouli and Curios API. Yes, those are all required in order to just install Botania. So Anyway, that is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going over basically three main mods and then three like kind of sub mods, if you will, that depend or that the main mods depend on. So that's what we're going to be covering today. But first and foremost, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour Minecraft server set up running any Minecraft mods you want. Yes, any Forge mods you want, you can download, install, and set up using Forge and Apex on a server running with your friends. So if you want to play mods with your friends, Apex Minecraft Hosting makes it super, super easy to do that and add mods. They also have one click installation of over 130 mod packs. So if you want to get custom mod packs with Apex, you can do that very, very easily from Stoneblock to Sky Factory to FTB mod packs. It's all possible with Apex. So nevertheless, go check out Apex. The first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your very own Minecraft server set up. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get mods installed in Forge. So again, we're assuming you already have Forge installed here. So if you don't, go ahead and go do that. Click the link in the description down below. Get installed. I'm waiting. Go install Forge. You need you need you need to pause this video and go install Forge in that video and come back to this video. Then it'll make sense. Have you done it yet? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Let's go ahead and continue and get our mods installed. So the first step of getting mods is obviously downloading them. So we're going to start off with Xero's minimap. Now, any mod you download is going to be installed the same way as long as it's a Forge mod for 1.16.4 and sometimes 1.16.3. Yeah, you heard that correctly. 1.16.3. Mods will work with 1.16.4 some of the time with Forge. It's actually pretty common, so you will see throughout this video that we'll be mentioning 1.16.3 occasionally. That's because those mods work with 1.16.4 because the update was so small, not much in Forge changed. So anyway, we're going to be starting off with Xero's minimap. All of these mods that we're talking about are linked down below, but again, any mods you want to install as long as it's a Forge mod for 1.16.4 will be installed this way. So let's go ahead and scroll down, and as you can see, this is our website with our in-depth tutorial on getting Xero's minimap. We just want to click on this yellow download button. That takes us off to Curse Forge, where we want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, and find Forge for 1.16.4 under the Minecraft 1.16 section. So as you can see, it says Forge for 1.16.4. We can go ahead and click on the purple download button there, and it will go ahead and start the download after a few seconds. And it's going to get pretty repetitive here as I download these, so I'm going to go a little faster moving on. The next mod is Industrial Foregoing. We want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, find Minecraft 1.16, and then as you can see, this first one says 1.16.3, but the second one says 1.16.4. That's the one that we want. So Industrial Foregoing did have a little bit of change between 1.16.3 and 1.16.4. So we need to make sure we're getting the 1.16.4 version of this one. So you got to be on the lookout and make sure there's no 1.16.4 version before assuming the 1.16.3 version does work. So we can go ahead and keep that file on the bottom left. Titanium is required as a like compatibility for Industrial Foregoing. Come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, find the 1.16.4 version. Right there it is. Uploaded 27 minutes ago. Go ahead and click that purple download button. Wait a few seconds. You know the drill at this point. We can go ahead and keep Titanium in the bottom left and move over to Botania. Come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, and as you can see, Botania 1.16.3 is the most recent version. However, if we look up here at the top, it says game version 1.16.4 is supported. That means the 1.16.3 version of Botania works in 1.16.4. So we're going to go ahead, click that download, and it will start here in a second. Wait for it. There we go, and the download is in the bottom left we can keep that file. Now, it requires Patchouli. Botania does, so we can come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, and again, the 1.16.2 version is going to work here, so we can go ahead and click the download button on that. 
And then while that's downloading, we'll come over here to the right-hand side or come over here to Curios API, also required for Montania. Scroll down, and again, the 1.16.3 version is going to work, so it's going to go ahead and download that. We'll then need to keep the Pacholi mod in the bottom left as well as Curios API in the bottom left. You may need to save these in the share of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, finally, if we minimize our browser, here we have a lot going on. We have Xero's Minimap, we have Industrial Foregoing, then we have Titanium, which is required for Industrial Foregoing, then we have Botania, then we have Pacholi, which is required for Botania, and then we have Kuros API, which is also required for Botania. So we have all these mods downloaded, and they are all going to be installed. So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft, like the Minecraft launcher. But before just opening up vanilla Minecraft, remember, we need to open up Minecraft with Forge here. So we have our Forge profile right there that we got from our tutorial early on. And as, as I said, go through that Forge tutorial because you need that in order for this to work. So we go ahead and click play there. It's now going to open up Minecraft right like so with Forge installed. So boom, Forge is installing. I'm going to go ahead do a quick jump cut until we're in game just to kind of speed things along a little bit here. But as you can see, it is opening up and then we'll switch over to kind of like the more normal Minecraft opening process. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we are in Minecraft. So we'll do a quick jump cut right here. Wait for it. I just want to get this kind of like recentered. in the center. There we go. Whenever it does that, we can do a quick jump cut. I'll see you on the main menu. So here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu and now we can go ahead and click on the mods tab here to get mods installed. So for the Minecraft main menu with Forge, just click on the mods tab. Then you want to click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left. And again, to install Forge mods, just click on the mods tab and then click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left of the mods tab. Now you want to take any and all mods you want to install. In our case, that's going to be Botania, Pacholi, and the Curios API, right? All three of those and drag and drop them into your mods folder. And then we're also going to install Industrial Foregoing and its compatibility mod Titanium. And then last but not least, Xero's Minimap. So drag and drop all of these in here. Now, again, some say even 1.16.2, some say 1.16.3, but they're all working on 1.16.4 because not much changed between those versions. So let's go ahead and close out of the mods tab. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, they're not here, and they're never going to appear here. The only way to get these mods to appear here is to quit the game, right? Close out of Minecraft, open up the Minecraft launcher again, and this time we want to go ahead, make sure Forge is selected, just as always, click play and when we're opening up here you will actually see these different mods start to be recognized so there they all are as you can see we've got titanium curios botania pacholi xero's minimap now, that's not all of them because there's too many to list there but it's starting it is recognizing them now it might take a while to open up forge whenever you first get mods it may go not responding which i'm kind of hoping it does so you can see what that looks like but nevertheless it might go not responding it might stay on this black screen for forever whatever but that's okay just let it sit let it work itself out and eventually minecraft will open up so i'm going to go ahead and and let the main menu kind of appear here. Then once we're almost to the main menu, I will pick back up. So here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu. And from here, we can click on the Mods tab and see we have Industrial Foregoing, we have Titanium, we have the Kyros API, we have Botania, we have Patchouli, and we have Xero's Minimap. We want to go ahead and do a new world. We'll do the Add Mods world here. We're going to make this a creative world just because it makes it easier. I'm going to create a new world. And then once we're getting game, we'll test all these different mods, show you that they're all there, show you some of the little things about them, and then, yeah, we'll be done. So I'll see you after a quick jump cut once we are in Minecraft. So here we are in Minecraft, and right at spawn here, we can see some Botania stuff. As you can see, these are different, like, flowers with, like, you know, stuff coming out of them. That is out of Botania. Botania is a really cool mod that adds in, like, different flora and things like that that you can do. We go ahead and hit escape here. Since we're in creative, we can actually see all the different stuff that is added. Here's Botania. As you can see, you've got all these wand forests, all these different, you know, petals and, and different things like that. Quartz, all of these different rune. It's basically a magic farming based kind of hybrid mod which is really really cool it's actually one of my favorite mods as you can see here are the different some of the different flowers we've got this you know red flower for example we've got a bunch of different stuff that's added in here the uh floating viticulus i don't even know how to how to say that but it, it looks really really cool so there you have that there's a uh, botania working it's a really really cool mod that i would recommend checking out kind of going more in depth with now one thing i do notice is we do not have a mini map on which is a little weird but uh let's go ahead and see if we can fix that uh see if we can get xero's mini map to activate here so one of the things that we can do is go into controls any controls added in will be here so we can go ahead and hit Y and see if we can see the minimap settings. As you can see, the minimap is turned off. We can go ahead and turn that on, and there we go. We now have Xero's minimap installed. Now there might be some weird other stuff that we might need to, you know, change in here. For example, the entity radar or you know the different you know ways chunks are generated and stuff like that. But uh, nevertheless, there you go. The minimap is now installed and looking good. It's actually not looking too good. I, I will admit that it needs to kind of generate some stuff. Might need to reload reload the world to kind of get that to happen. But nevertheless. 
that is now installed. We've also got Industrial 4 going here. You can see all the different tools from Industrial 4 going. We've also got the you know different transport stuff, the conveyor belts, all that stuff, the generators for Industrial 4 going, the agriculture and different stuff that it can do, like auto harvesting and things like that. And we've also got the resource production for Industrial 4 going. It is all there as well. And uh, is that it? Was there was there was there one more mod? I, I feel like there was one more mod. But no, it's just those three mods. Cool. So we are now installed. I am going to reload see if that fixes our mini map. It could just be a bug with Exeros mini map. Occasionally you're going to run into that. Even in tutorials, I've tested this before this worked fine and then suddenly now it's you know had that little issue but no big problem there again you can hit y if you have xero's minimap to test your minimap settings or open those up and see those minimap settings that's how we were able to turn the map back on so let's go ahead and open up our add mods world that we were just in and see if we can get this rocking and rolling here see if the mini map will then generate and open up um let's see so still nope no mini map and that is okay though not the end of the world we can uh you know, we can look at that, report that to the developer, for example. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. I'm guessing this is going to be a setting. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. I cannot wait to see you online. We have incredible grief-protected survival. Awesome skyblock. You will love it. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.